Good morning and Good welcome morning. to the Sunrise <laughs> Meets Podcast. We start with the same thing. Yep. So it is morning. We have good news. Good, good news. Good news. Really good news. We finally got some decent fucking mics. <laughs> not right now, but they're coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not right now, but tomorrow they come in. So hopefully we will be uh, recording on actual microphones and the doors opening back up and we'll record straight to the computer instead of instead of to the app the app the only reason why we really used the app is to it's because it was the best app for our voices with the loves because it 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 automatically made our voices sound better so hopefully when we get the new mics tomorrow Ooh. and we plug them into the laptop and uh, they'll sound they'll sound just as good if not better and this time we don't have to really adjust anything because that's it. They're Cordier mics. Uh, they have several different modes. They have a headphone jack and they have volume and pitch and all that stuff. So Sick we're definitely dead. we're definitely set up. I'm gonna play with, I'm gonna play with, I'm gonna play around with them tomorrow. What you gonna play with <laughs> and uh, make sure they're all good and set up and stuff. So Dude. what if they show up today? They could. Mm-hmm. I saw Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, they could. They really could. I've had. I've. What I. What, so I don't know. So this might be a little cheating, but if you don't have Amazon Prime, you could do this one thing where it'll trick the system, at, at Amazon. So let's say you order. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, so let's say you order a package. No, let's say you order like a pack of twenty lighters. I just see lighters, and <laughs> and you and you do the standard shipping is like two to three days. You'll get it. But if you switch it to one day, shipping. And you'll leave it there for like, I don't know, maybe like 15, 30 minutes. And then you switch it back to the original order. It'll get to you in one day because the system reads one day shipping instead of two day shipping. And then it doesn't read two day shipping by the time the package gets sent out. How do you know that that works? Because I've done it before. How many times? Several times. That's not enough. (laughs) It works. I I think it works. At least it's worked for me every time. I think Lewis is just pulling shit out of his ass. I'm not. I'm not. It's happened. Unless it's two to three day shipping and they get it to me in one day. In that case, why do I need... It just so happens that they had it. Right. But why do I need to get... Why do I need to, you know, pay for one day shipping if they already have it in the warehouse and stuff like that? I don't know. So, I just... I know why we got the microphone so early because your mom has Prime, so... She ordered, she ordered it with, with Prime. Sick, dude. After this, I can go home and study, and then I gotta look at all the footage. I gotta go work. Yeah. I gotta go I gotta, work. I gotta go to you know, I, you funeral know, tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I You know what's something funny that I forgot to tell you yet? Mm. Is I remember one day I was out working, and it was, it was very rainy this day. And I saw somebody watering her lawn in the pouring rain. What? I'm not joking. A grown ass man was standing out on his fucking yard with the water hose in hand, watering the lawn in the rain. Why? I don't know. I stared him down. I stared him down as I drove past him. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Trying to kill my plants, what I'm trying to do. You're trying to drown your plants? What the fuck? Like, I was like, what? How insane are you? That's pretty fucking stupid. Like, what, like, what's some really dumb shit you've ever seen or done? Um, I haven't, well, I I haven't seen a lot of dumb stuff. I've done a lot of dumb stuff, but I haven't seen a lot of dumb stuff. Um, what's something, okay, what's what's something something real dumb that you, you're like, oh, I wonder if this is a good idea. It's just on the spot. You could, you saw the opportunity, and you had the opportunity to take it, and you took it. And as soon as you took it, you immediately realized you're a fucking idiot. Uh, What's something that you? I don't think like that? I don't think that's ever happened. That or I just can't think of one right now because you're putting me on the spot. I don't remember doing anything dumb that I was like, this is fucking dumb, kind of thing. I mean, unless it was like my friends told me to go to do something outside of class, and then. I immediately regret it because the teacher caught me. But like, other than that, nothing really stupid. I remember, I remember sticking my foot under a truck 
Uh huh. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to finish. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna ask a question. You no. looked like you had a question lined up. No, I'm just looking said. at you like an idiot. <laughs> so my grandma, you remember my grandma's old white truck, right? That big ass Dodge. Okay. Yeah, I huge, think so. Huge yeah. fucking Dodge truck that my grandma used to have. Mm-hmm. She gave it to my uncle. Um, I was, I was like, you know, I was like twelve. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I wonder what it feels like to have your foot run over. And I, she, I was out in the garage, and she was pulling into the garage with this big ass truck. Uh, <clears throat> I was like, I wonder what it's like to have my foot run over. So I stuck my foot under the back tire, and I immediately felt like a jackass. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. Yeah, <laughs> you're a real fucking idiot. Why the fuck would you stick your foot under a tire? I don't, dude, I, I don't know why that question it was it was the morning that question just boom popped into my head as soon as i saw her pulling into you know, the garage was, there is a way for you to do that and just not break any of your foot i didn't i was surprisingly i didn't break any of my yeah. foot if i swear to god i thought i did it fucking hurt yeah it hurt because the pressure but i stuck but the thing is is i stuck it under the back tire instead of the front tire if i stuck it under the front tire i probably would have broke my foot probably because because of the weight right no but um like imagine if she floored it on top of your foot, then your foot would have been gone. It would have been de-skid. Mm. <laughs> but luckily, she's not going that fast, right? She's, she's pulling into a garage, right, so if she yeah. would have floored it. She would have went through her own living room. Yeah, so she was she was probably wasn't going that fast, just enough to get into the garage. So that's good. At least you speaking didn't break of, your foot. Speaking of flooring it into the garage. Did I tell you? I tried to tell you last night, but I, I didn't tell. I didn't finish the story. Oh, go. So you remember, um, <clears throat> remember, uh, the garage, the garage at my parents' house, mm-hmm. the new one. No, 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 the new house. The new house. Okay, so they clean. We cleaned that out. At one point, uh, my great uncle flew down from Pennsylvania, and we like worked on it. We cleaned it out. We made sure it could fit. The cars. The, ca- okay, the cars. Yeah. yeah. So. <clears throat> The night Aubrey comes home, he tries. To, he's like, "Oh wow, this is nice." I was like, "Let me back the car in here," and he and he fucking straight up. <laughs> he almost drove the fucking car through the kitchen. He floored it at one point when he was almost there. I was like, "Back up more, back up more. You can fit more. You're not." It's like he's not like good to like clear the garage door. Uh huh. In the front, so I was like, "Back up more, back up more," and he floored it at one point. I was like, "What?" Jesus Christ! Yeah, he almost—he was this close to the fucking freezer to push it to like just Shoving straight up smashing it. straight to straight into the kitchen. Jesus Christ! So like the wall, bet- the wall right there is the wall between the kitchen and yeah. the garage. Yeah, I know. So he would have went right. In- he would have right through the refrigerator. Right through the refrigerator. Yeah, yeah. you would have been right through the refrigerator. Holy shit. The freezer was right there. Then there's the wall and the refrigerator and all the counter. And you would just went, And the <laughs> island, too. Holy shit. You would have made your kitchen just that much more he, the thing is, The thing is, though, is that car... You saw you drove it last night. Yeah. It has a backup camera. Oh, my fucking... <laughs> well, I didn't see the backup camera. I don't think I ever saw that. There's a backup camera. Really? Yes. So you must not have heard the beep, 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 beep. Oh, no, no. It doesn't go beep, beep, beep. Okay, that's probably why then. But but the thing is, is I was telling him to back up. You can back up more, like, like but like thinking, why aren't you looking at the fucking backup camera, dude? Yeah, well, I think the newer models they make a beeping sound if you oh, get yeah, too close yeah, or something. Yeah, for sure. But those problem that that pro- car didn't. That's probably why he didn't uh, stop so early. But yeah, that shit was that shit was like I like my heart sank. <laughs> so, um, don't start doing this thing where you have to check in, right, online, so. I don't know if we're gonna be able to record on campus. There's a way to get you on campus without, <laughs> without people knowing. Don't care, but I'm just letting you know. If we do decide to record on campus ever, don't care. But if we don't, then we'll just continue to record. So, yeah, my class is starting back up, so I'm gonna be at school. I think it's Monday and Wednesday from eight to from eight to eleven. So. <clears throat> Don't care about going to your school to record. We have room here. I know, but I'm just letting you know if we're in a time crunch and you need to meet me somewhere. Yeah. Okay. That's where we need. That's where we have to be. 
I just hate my I just hate the fact that my class is from eight to eleven. That's a long ass class for ceramics. Because I gotta Damn. I gotta get there, I gotta work on my pottery stuff, and then at like probably the last hour of the class I'm cleaning and wiping shit down because of sanitation. Yeah. yeah. And then I just gotta clean all the clay up too. Which oh you know clay. that's always a hassle, so you should, yes. try, you should like fuck with your teacher and just bring different color play to class. Like that. Fuck off. <laughs> and just start spinning that on your fucking thing. <laughs> Look, you can't do that because you need water. I know. <laughs> just fucking dumb. Just throw some play doh away, dude. I just need uh, fuck with it. What do I need to do? I need uh. What was I gonna say? I was just gonna say that I was excited about the mics and stuff. Like we're Sir. actually getting decent equipment now. So I got my laptop and I got we got the mics. Technically, next step would be headphones, but. Yeah, but I'm gonna buy more mics. Yeah, I'm gonna buy two more mics. Yeah, <clears throat> and then I don't. I honestly don't think we need headphones. So. Oh, and uh, we have our guests lined up. We're not asta- We're not yeah. announcing them until the 18th episode, but we yeah. know who our 20th episode guests are gonna be. Yep. So keep a lookout for that. Is gonna be. Is gonna. I feel like it's gonna be really fucking fun, dude. Yep. Hopefully by then we'll have all the mics. If not, they'll be on lobs. Lobs. It'll be all right. We'll just sync up the phone with the computer. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. Oh my! Because, God. um, as a matter of fact, when I opened OBS and I press record, mm-hmm. it reads the mics as headsets. So I have to plug in that microphone and then plug in that and then label it as a headset, and it'll read the mic. I've done it before. I just I don't know why it didn't work on my laptop. On your laptop. Okay. So when I plug it into the jack, it's like a headphone yes. jack, and it's got the little headphone logo or whatever. But if you plug it in. It'll ask you headset, mic, or speaker. And I registered it as a mic, but that didn't work for whatever reason. So I switched it to headset, and that was working. So it was very weird. That was working. Because I think the... Because the, I bought, like, Skull Candy headphones to, like, <laughs> game with. They're, like, $20 pieces. Skull Candy. Yeah, I, I, I did it just a game for, like, a little bit. But those headphones weren't working, so I was like, fuck. So I just connected my Bluetooth earbuds. And then my mic works. Oh, and I think we can talk to each other on Rocket League now. I think they, they, they had an update recently. Really? Yeah, and I can see my mic. Like, I can see myself talking. But I don't know if anybody can hear me because everybody's on PSN and nobody wants to talk. I make some fucking clutch-ass plays on that game, dude. They were so That game is so much fucking fun. It is pretty fun. It's pretty fucking fun. I think, I think that game might be like a... It might grow old. It might have a good, like, half-life. You know what I mean? Like, no, it doesn't have a big, like traction on like youtube or anything like that but the point the thing about it is like almost nobody is good at the game because it's so hard to like maneuver a car around a fucking soccer ball not really because uh, i mean i mean like not for me at least there are I'm pe- really, there are people really good at the game. Yeah, yeah yeah there's people who like have certain skills like with their thumbs and shit but like the thing is is it's consistently fun yeah. It's consistently fun. Yeah, for the people that know what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. So well, anybody. Yeah, the only thing that I don't like about Rocket League is that it's not consistent in matchmaking. When you get matchmaked, they'll throw you into a match that's already started. And so you'll either be winning or losing. I've I've actually gotten into a match where the other person forfeited right before they left the match. And then I got in there and it took me as the loss. So I took their loss because they forfeited. I was like, what the hell? So anytime I go into a, unless I'm winning, anytime I get into a losing match, I I don't play. But I've gotten into one match where they were zero to four and they had like two minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. So I was like, we can make four goals in two minutes. And so that's what we did. We came all the way back. We made mm. uh, five, we, we won five to four. I was like, oh, thank God. I keep all those replays. Those are fucking great replays. I love that shit. Because it's got like the Halo-esque replay mm-hmm. camera style where you can like flip the camera and everybody's frozen in the air. And you, oh. get, and you get 360 you see the whole uh, thing um that's what halo did so i, I really <clears throat> like that and so I, that's why i like rocket league a lot i play a lot i'm which, excited which for much. next month to for the new call of duty to drop oh cold war yeah. it's coming I'm out only, the I'm day only, after ps5 launches i only want it for zombies for zombies <laughs> surprised they're not selling it separate from zombies it's crossplay anyway i know but I'm surprised they're not. Yeah, and then all your weapon classes stayed. I don't know if you watched the trailer or anything, but there's no. so the the weapons that you use in multiplayer can also be used in oh zombies. just like how they did it in Black Ops Three, where you can customize your own weapon in the 
You can customize. No, and it's say you get it in the box, and it shows up how the, the way you customize it with sights and everything. Not only that, but you get to start with your own weapon, so no more pistols. Yeah. What? Yeah. No that more, changed, yeah. dude. No more pistols. You spawn in with the gun that you designed. Dude, that, that you want. changes. That changes a few things. Oh, I can't wait to see all the fucking like people who they like, brought, try to never leave the starting room. They brought the original map, the first map. Which uh, oh uh under no not no not not was it not not there on Totten yeah. yeah that one they brought it back that's the yeah. that's the map they're using now sick because so what it is it's that map on top yeah. and then the map on the bottom yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Not there so on two, it's a two later it's a two later map I'll show you the fucking way to last forever on that one oh no I think my brothers and me figured it out already because we used to play that shit all the time. Well, like once, oh, did one, he have all the maps on Black Ops 3? Because I remember he was oh, like, no, no, no. Black Ops 3. I thought you were talking about the original map. Yeah, not. Nah. Like the first map ever. Yeah, not. Nah. Yeah, that one. Yeah, we already figured it out. One just stays on the stairs and the other one just runs in a circle. On the other side of the map. What? They're no. running up and down the stairs. No. That's what we no, did. No, you all work. stay together. Like, say all four of you are playing. And you, <clears throat> you never open the couch. You never take the couch. You all stay in this corner right there. Two people aim at the window, two people aim at the door. Oh. You just stay there for the rest of your life. Oh, no. We, we only had two players, so one would have to run around, and the other one would be at the at the, at the um, stairs, and then... Um, well, we would you do sit. it with any amount of players. If, even if you were solo, you could just oh. sit there. Yeah, no, no, I've no, done no. it. I've done it. I'm like, got, solo, it's really hard. So I think the farthest I got was, like, round 27. Mm. Yeah, we it's like really the, fucking hard to do it solo. We like the uh, the theater one because you can run around in a circle. <sighs> That's all we did. Is we, know. we one person would stay like on the stage on you know, going in a circle, and then the other one would go and just kill whatever zombies come from whatever other direction. And we would always keep a zombie, of course. You know that, so we them. could have a break because <laughs> we would um, blow up the zombies and they would become crawlers. Nico, you want to go bowling? That'd be pretty good. Pretty good map. Pretty good game actually. I'm just good glad game. I got. I'm just glad I got Warfare because Warfare is like the perfect game for me because Warfare. there's going to be infinite or the multiplayer for oh. the Modern Warfare. Oh, okay. it, there's infinite weapons. There's going to be infinite weapons. They're going to bring all the weapons from Cold War in, into um, Modern Warfare and any anything that, that has to do with BR or anything like that is going to be at Warfare. I don't even play the BR. Dude, Battle Royals are so fucking overcooked, they're, they're, man. They're overdone now, yeah. I can't return PUBG because apparently honestly, I have so three tired. hours of playtime. I'm play honestly time. really, really tired of all these multiplayer games that are coming out. Like, yeah, like I want dev- I want devs to focus on solo player games again, dude. Like, get, um, really focus on it. Like, get, Ghost of Tsushima on the PlayStation Four was it's a great fucking game. Get a uh, get become human or becoming human. Oh, Detroit becoming human. Detroit become human. Yeah, that's a good game. I think you would like it because I heard there's some really. I heard there's an infinite. There's almost an infinite amount of ways you could go. Cause oh, because of all the different choices you can take. Mm, that's right. It's a really fucking good game. I wouldn't get it though. It's not. I like it. I like the concept, but it's like it's a long ass game. Like you could put so you can see some hours to do that, and then you have to restart it every fucking time you want to see a new ending. But you got to remember all the choices that you've made. To get up to those endings. So you could end it with all the robots dying. You could end it with the robots becoming <coughs> like humans. You can do a whole bunch of shit. That's class. I don't know. I can't get rid of Minecraft because I always come back to it. It's like Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to leave and where did that take you? Right back to me. It's, I can't get rid of it. That's why I like to play Damn Rocket you. League. I'm so happy that I have Minecraft. Rocket League. I, don't, I think Minecraft will all up. Uh, be one of those really timeless games as well because like there's there's literally no end to where the creativity stops yeah and they keep adding stuff too yeah so um that's why that's why i like rocket league too because it it's the same game over and over again but there are so many variations of different types of games that you can play that i just love it yeah the hockey book one was really fun and then what was the other one with the ball the hoops the basketball no, 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 not the, bo- oh, not the basketball. Um, um, drop, the shot. Where, drop shot. Drop yeah, shot. Yeah, where it falls to the floor. Yeah, I like the regular game mode. Yeah. I, I like just the soccer and the ball because it's very, it's, it's so fun. It's so fucking fun, especially when I win. <laughs> <laughs> no shit, you don't say. <laughs> well, yeah, but like, I mean, I could lose and I could make these badass plays 
and I'd be like, that's that was a good game, you know. But if like I win and I'm like not playing anything, then I was like, okay, that's fine. And, like I've defended before, and that's all I did for you know a round or two, and it's boring. But I mean, I won, so it's kind of like, all right, cool. But I try to always be on the offense because some people just suck ass at that game. Yup. And I always do like the corner shot, and then I back up, and then they they hit it in front of the goal, and, and then I hit it. I, I'm on, <laughs> like I'm one of the patient players that waits. For I think the ball you. Ha- I think like, the thing about that game is you have to play patient. Yeah, but that's what you nobody to, realizes. To, Everybody's like, yeah, you got to go to, ahead, Mozart, get the yeah. fucking ball, <laughs> <laughs> and then they fucking slap it in their own goal. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've done that plenty of times too. It's fucking horrible, especially when you're trying to block. Blocking is impossible because unless you know how to do aerials. Which I don't know how to do yet. Sucks. They're not that. I know how to do simple shit. Yeah, that's why I did the training. I did like the basic training. I was like, mm-hmm. okay, I can do this. And then now I'm trying to do aerials and shit, but it's hard. Like when you when the kickoff happens, it's like you either you know jump and you boost and you hit the ball, or you stay on the ground and you just hit the ball and it chips up. So that's what that's how, that's how my variance because you can flip the car backwards and forwards. So I kick it with the back tires. And that always stops the ball from going anywhere. It's weird. That's, yeah. So you that's crazy. So you jump, you flip the ball, they hit it up, and then the back of the ball goes straight up, and it hits the back of your car, and it just bounces back down like it never went anywhere. So uh, I've learned a lot of shit from like Rocket League and doing that shit. Imagine having like Rocket League in real league. life. <laughs> Look, man, <laughs> when I get into a game, I get into no, a fucking actually, game. Actually, I think there. I think it's in. There's like tournaments Switzerland too. where they actually use cars. For a soccer. And, a, and a and a fucking ball. Yeah. And they it's like a demolition kind of thing, yeah. Yeah. Um we're gonna say yeah, Warfare is probably like my second what country is that? my second favorite game only because of all the guns that they have. So like I've upgraded the Kylo and then I'm on the AK right now, and then I'm gonna do the M thirteen, and then I'm gonna be done with assault rifles, which are like the main assault rifles that I really care about. And then I'm gonna move on to the submachine the submachine guns. And I don't know which ones. I don't know which submachine guns are the best for that game, but I'll figure it out. I'll do the. I'll probably do the first one on the top of the list, mm-hmm. and then go find the other ones that I, that look interesting, that look like they would do a lot of damage, and then of course move to snipers and then shotguns and then. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, once I'm done with that, I could just. I mean, I'm not really worried about it. I'm really worried about them though, because <clears throat> the new one, the new game's coming out. Yeah, I know that's weird because like shotguns are the easiest ones to do. I hope can... that the. People from Modern Warfare don't completely like. I hope that game doesn't completely crash and burn, because oh no, I feel like cold- I feel like I feel like ninety percent of the population is only getting Cold War because of zombies. You're not. You're probably not right, wrong because because <laughs> there's co-op on Call of Duty. The of two course. two player co-op. I want to do that with you. That'd be fun. Oh shit! The they have the missions. Oh yeah. word! They have the. They have the missions. They have the they the store. The missions, the battle royale, the mul- regular multiplayer, and then they have the story, the campaign, mm-hmm. um, and that's it. Yeah. So but they didn't add zombies. Watch, they're gonna add like a little zombies mode to it because of Cold War. So you're gonna get the PS5 with your 124 uh, gaming frames per second mm-hmm. at 4K. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that games. I don't think games are gonna run at 4K with 124. 120 frames per second. I just think it's well, going to be... It's got to depend on the monitor, probably. No, your TV's fine. Uh, what you want, what you really want to look at on your TV is how many frames per second or how many hertz your screen is. I think it's a lot. You should look it up. It's, it's a really expensive TV. Well, it's 4K, so you just... Um, it could be 4K, and, 4K. Have low, and low and low frames. Or, like, my, my, my refresh rate... Wait. My refresh rate on my laptop is 144. Mm-hmm. which is already more than the ps5 and xbox and i can play every game so i'll be good for a long ass time of course until i upgrade again which won't be until probably years after i get out of college <laughs> by then i'll have a desktop i found the video of um rocket league in real life mm-hmm. and they're using cars oh yeah but it doesn't tell me like where it's from oh look at the look at the upload state it should tell you what the upload state is, um, like where the is it where it was up in description. Where it was up, yeah. Look at your description, or the description. If it doesn't tell Published you, anything. August 9th, twenty sixteen. I don't know YouTube like this, dude. I just watch fucking videos. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, who who made the video? This, mom. this looks like U.S. I thought it was like a somewhere else. Like 
out of you know the, I think Mr. Beast did it too. I don't I don't know. I can tell you. You'd have to look at deep analytics and shit like that. They had it the Fortnite bust of Fortnite because of Rama Llama Rama shit. So like I see a whole bunch of um fucking buses everywhere on that goddamn game. And then um they added like this skin for the Wait, what do you mean they added the Fortnite bus to Fortnite? What the fuck does that mean? No, to Rocket League. Oh. Yeah. They added like the little miniature car model. You s- I swear you said. Hopefully the DeLorean Fortnite. comes back this month on the 16th. The DeLorean. Hopefully it comes back so I can buy it. <laughs> I'm going to get it and that's going to be the only car I'm using. I've seen it once in gameplay and I'm like, really I was like, I want it. DeLorean. I want the DeLorean. I have to have it. Anything that is um, back to the future, I must have. Marty, we have to go back to the future. It's fucking Rick. <laughs> Marty. <laughs> Marty! Great Scott. They should have added Back to the Future with, like, they should have did a crossover episode where they, like, kind of bumped into each other. That would have been fucking cool. <laughs> oh, shit! That would have been fucking dope. Because not only is he time traveling, but he's teleporting to different dimensions. Yeah. That would have been fucking dope. It's like them, but it's like, you know, it's I'm sure there's some licensing document. disagreements that would happen, but it's that show is doable. Based, that show is based off of Back to the Future. Are you fucking kidding me? The characters are literally one for one, like people. They're just a little bit more raunchy. I mean, Doc and Rick, no. the, they got the same hair, and Morty no. and and um, Marty. It's Morty and Marty. Are you kidding me? It's one one letter change. Morty, Marty, Rick, Doc, Doc. Doc Brown. Wait, what was his actual name? Doc Brown. No, Brown like something. First name. Something Brown. Something something something. I don't fucking remember. No way. Really? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Okay. We're recording a podcast. Can you be a little bit more considerate? Did you go fuck off? We're we'll leaving that in. Because why not? <laughs> we'll leave this whole part in. Because it's not that loud. Honestly. And we'll leave this in. And this. 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 <laughs> also it? this. That. <laughs> bleep the whole thing. Just leave it in, but bleep it. <laughs> They'll never know. They'll be like, oh shit, okay. Maybe you said something. It's just a long <laughs> bleep that too, so they don't even have an idea. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get the bleeping sound. I haven't gotten the bleep because what I do is what? I don't I don't bleep it. I just mute it. I noticed that. Yeah. Fuck, I forgot about that. Yeah, I just mute what? it. What the I don't bleep it. Fuck! Because the bleeping sound is annoying, and if it lasts too long, it's gonna just like, ew. But yeah, but it has. I feel like the bleep sound has earned its way into adding a level of comedy. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it does. It does. Because they take. They, I don't know if you've seen Avatar, but bleeped or censored. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> really? Yeah. They like. No. It looks like they're cussing, or like they, it looks like you want to fuck, or something like that. Like it, does, it, it makes you feel like this is a dirty show. <laughs> It's so nasty. Yeah, it's, I need to watch that. Um, yeah, it's pretty funny. You know what I actually watched recently? Speaking of Avatar, hmm. they actually have an unreleased episode that they put a, they put out on YouTube. Right. Unre- it was supposed to be the original pilot, hmm. but what was the, what was it? it never came out what because was the, it was like like they didn't open how they did in the original series mm-hmm. where they find Aang in the in the thing. They open with they Spoiler are they are, everybody knows everybody. Okay. Like everybody knows everything that's going on. Zuko knows Avatar's alive and Katara Toph no, not Toph. Katara, um what the fuck is his name? Suka Sokka and Momo and um Appa, they're all together mm-hmm. already. And the intro was way different too. Mm. The intro was way different. Had some similarities. Mm-hmm. But it was way different. Yeah, no, I but like they found um Zuko found them at one point. They were like chase them down, they were launching fireballs at at them like crazy and they finally got a break they rested like next to some like water somewhere they were practicing water bending and shit and then um uh Sokka goes off to find some food he's like i'm fucking hungry i'll be back in like two hours or whatever. Mm-hmm. he doesn't come back because he got captured by zuko mm-hmm. and they're like i'm gonna go look for him and shit and basically it was like it was just a whole premise of saving his friend, Aang saving his friends, mm. and his friends saving him at the this same sounds, time. This sounds like just a conglomerate of like what happened. Yeah, it sounds like a trailer more than a no. It was episode. no, 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 no. It was, it was, it's, a, it was. I watched the whole thing. Mm. It, it was the full length of an episode, and the art was different too. Oh shit! Yeah, the art was pretty different. Interesting. Okay, it wasn't as fluid as it is. 
it was pretty like like the like the like the black lines were like wavy at some points you know mm. okay. like yeah interesting like the black lines were moving like their outline the character eye lines were like yeah. moving like the art was like know ever... you know like you remember like watching one of those late night cooked shows like they were fucking bad no but they were funny no you didn't stay up late enough fucking loser no dude <laughs> the latest i stayed up was to watch fucking disney channel world premieres <laughs> i stayed up late at night to watch adult swim all with the time. with the coke and a bag of chips <laughs> and a bag of chips yeah i'd always stay up to watch like the halloween specials or um the high school musical specials or anything like that and then um what was i saying no yeah i didn't really watch adult swim that much the closest that i got to adult Me swim my mom used to stay up and watch all the time was mad and Mad was right before Adult Swim. What show? What was Mad? It was like a TV show called Mad. And Why does that sound really, really funny? Because it was like a, if you look it up, you'll recognize the face. But um, it was a magazine, and they made it into like a little TV show, or like a little like cartoon skit that they would do like weird ass shit on. And that's where Uncle Grandpa came from, because they had a segment called Uncle Grandpa in Mad, and oh. then and then Uncle Grandpa became an actual TV show. It's all show. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, it was very weird the way the show, and then it ended, and it was like, okay, and now imagine it, watching, and now course, imagine watching an episode of Uncle Grandpa like on shrooms or LSD. No, <laughs> <laughs> dude, yeah. that would fuck. That'd be fun. No, now Cartoon Network doesn't host that kind of show no more. They host all the trippy shows like Adventure Time and shit like that. And like the LGBT community is on there all over the place, which is pretty. I like Cartoon Network because I like it's got old Cartoon it's, Network. Old Cartoon Network is pretty cool, but I like. I, I like new Cartoon Network. I just wish there was more old Cartoon Network in it. Like, I wish Flapjack was still airing, like, late at night. I Flapjack. wish... I wish... I wish The House of Imaginary Friends... The Foster... Imaginary, Foster's Home for Imaginary yeah, Friends. Yeah, I wish that was still airing on the at the end of the night. I wish Chowder was still and on. And Nettie Chowder, dude. Chowder was my favorite! <laughs> I fucking loved Chowder. Yeah, I wish all those shows would show up at the end of the... Like, at the end of everything else. Like, I, I'm not dogging all the other shows. The other shows are great, but, like... I yeah. wish that they would show more of the old stuff at the yeah. at, at like late at night where all the kids aren't, you know, awake. So I can be like, I can enjoy my, <laughs> I can enjoy my old. So I can be work. a grown ass man sitting in my. Couch. Yeah, and then they remade um Samurai Jack. They on... remade Samurai Jack. Yeah. How do you remake that? You cannot remake. That. Listen, it's on Adult Swim. It's like really bloody, really gory, really well made. The art style is the same. Or, but it, you're telling me you're telling me it's good. It's I've heard it's good. Oh. Fuck. I got. I guess I gotta check it out. Yeah, you have to check it out. It's on Cartoon ah. Network. It's on all about something. It's pretty good. That's what I've heard. That is really good, because it's the same art style. I think it's the same creators. It's a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same story. It's like John Wick. Just picture John Wick with a sword, the samurai sword. <laughs> I, I would assume that's how it is. Did you ever like really watch Powerpuff Girls? I watched it. I watched a couple of episodes. I've seen a couple of episodes. I remember really liking that show as a kid for some reason. I remember watching. Like sugar, the, the intro spice, yeah, everything nice. <laughs> Chemical X, Chemical X, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. The I, Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, I've seen a couple of episodes. I don't know. I really liked um Chowder, although I was scared. I loved Chowder. I was slapjack, dude. Uh, uh and fla- I meant to say that was my shit. I I I would get scared at some point because they would bring like they would zoom into like. The faces and it would be fucking creepy as shit. Yes. Be like, what the fuck is this show? <laughs> like some of the things that like, so some of the I things that know Cartoon how Network. They made that. I think I'm pretty sure it was like Plato. Yeah, some of the or clay, um, whatever movie Same clay, shit. movie clay, because um, I think Plato would melt under heat and lamps. But um, Same shit. whatever. Yeah, but um, what was I gonna say? Um, so in in car- in old Cartoon Network shows and in, in some of the new ones like Adventure Time, they would have certain episodes where it was just the character, and they would just sit in a room and it would be quiet and silent, and all you hear was like, oh. <laughs> and it was just the character with like creepy ass eyes or some shit, and they're just sitting there. And that's the whole fucking episode. It's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and they did it in Adventure Time too. I don't remember what episode, but I, I I'm pretty sure they did it in Adventure Time. But like, there was an episode where Flapjack was like, I think he was like walking, and like, it was almost like a drug trip. 
and he was walking and all you heard was whoa, 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 and he's like changing and like the different art styles are going like he's walking what the hell it dude trippy. it was fucking trippy and they never found candy island and i'm sad about it <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what show i also was highly invested in ben 10 ben 10 was all right Ben 10 was my shit, dude. And the one I remember the, I had an Omnitrix, dude. <laughs> it felt so I had, awesome. I had, I, Ma- I had the Ma- uh, McDonald's one. I you had like 10 of them. I, I remember going to your tell. house and you had like a whole sleeve of just Omnitrix. <laughs> I had like three of them. <laughs> I remember um, I wanted to have an I wanted that shit to be so real so bad when I was a kid. The shit, your kid. Yeah, I was a kid. I'm like, oh, I want to be able to be an alien. <laughs> just the best, the best Ben Ten was with Kevin Eleven and Gwen Stacy when they were a little older, when they were old. Oh, you're when talking. they were like teenagers. Omniverse. Yeah, <laughs> I still know that shit as an adult. <laughs> yeah, they were. That was that was the best version of Ben Ten by far because <laughs> because it was like no, it was like Teen good. Titans. Like the original. Oh, I had. The, I had. I can see that. Like, yeah, it had. I the had, original, had the appeal. The original, for the original when they were titans. kids, and that was my favorite. The original one when they were like actual kids when he first found the Omnitrix, to, um, you know, all the way up until he met the fucking big brain dude that made the fucking Omnitrix. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and then he. Did you see? Did you ever see the movie where the Omnitrix was like gonna blow up? No. No, wasn't it? That wasn't movie that like was a, epic, dude. Wasn't that like an IRL movie where no. they took real people? Because then they oh, have a live I know action. what you're talking about, but uh, that was a di- that was a completely different movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. the, the yeah. movie I'm talking about was completely done in cartoon animation. Uh huh. And um, he like they like traveled the fucking universe to find uh the guy that made the great alien. So it, yeah. yeah. I forget the fuck his name was, but it's like Doctor something. But it's an it alien. doesn't matter. It's an uh, alien. The thing is, is he. Uh, ben fucked up and he set the Omnitrix into like self-destruct and oh. when that thing goes into self-destruct it, it basically is like a big bang it'll reset the universe Holy shit. It, it'll reset the entire universe damn yeah what the fuck why why would he do he that? made the, he made that little last thing that goes on a that's wrist. what i'm saying why would he do it that it blows up the uh. entire universe and not, at, like like the, the people on the other side of the universe they had nothing to do with this <laughs> like come on dude really and he was like completely suicidal well, about it. He's like, "Fuck it, let it blow up the universe. Yeah, yeah. blow it up. It doesn't need to exist." Yeah. And he eventually, was, at the end of the movie, he's like, "Fuck it, he reset it. He reset it." Yeah, he would update the watch too. So he would yeah, keep and then making, he and then he opened keep the watch making aliens, and then he would show them all the unlocked aliens that he hasn't unlocked yeah, yet. Yeah, there was like there was like an infinite. It's crazy because I think so that's why aliens. that's why he wanted to reset it because he's that alien's been to so many planets and he's took DNA from all the. All the aliens are mm-hmm. copied them somehow and stuck them into the watch, and then you can just yeah. transform into any. And other then aliens. also, um, there was a thing in Omniverse where some like some kind of alien form would scratch the Omnitrix, and it would like add itself to at the the Omnitrix would automatically add that DNA mm-hmm. into the Omnitrix, and so Ben would get a new alien. Oh damn! Yeah, yeah. No, the last that I remember is that it was it needed updates. Like the watch needed to update. He actually, I Every, think, it, and, I think the original thing was he put actually like ten million aliens in it. I think I don't remember, but I remember it being it needs uh updates. Ten thousand. And so what happens is ten thousand aliens were on it originally. Yeah, ten. I think it was like ten thousand aliens were originally on it, and as Ben progresses like through his life, mm-hmm. you know, shit just keeps adding getting added to that yeah Omnitrix. that's what I, that's what i'm just saying is that i remember <clears> it was <throat> the alien that would update the watch through however the fuck he did it from all the way across the fucking universe that yeah. or uh ben 10 would have to like learn something or i don't know it was like a lesson thing and then he would unlock another there animation. was actually another an, um uh, animation movie where they were kids and they were they like traveled in time by like accident i think I don't know. It's been so long since I watched the movie, but it a they traveled. In, they traveled forward in time. No, oh. they traveled forward in time, and uh-huh. he met himself as an adult, uh-huh. and he like started learning shit, like you know how to really fight. And by the time Ben, by the time Ben ten, Ben is an adult, uh-huh. uh, he's like he's uh, famous throughout the galaxy because he has the power of the Omnitrix, and he mm. like 
done shit. He's got statues of him built everywhere and shit. Interesting. And he like he's like he's basically like the protector. That's a weird way to yeah involve time travel because I would assume yeah and like if you touched yourself then like you're gonna fucking die like the so the theory is is that if no, you the find thing, you know what's crazy self, I think you I, touch re- yourself, I remember the it will the universe will, the time stuff will implode on itself. I remember what happened so. Gwen, as an adult, brought them as kids to the cur- like their current time and mm. future. So like she casted a time spell and just reached in and grabbed them mm-hmm. and brought them to their time because Ben Ben as an adult was like acting as this ornery ass old dude. Oh, and he needed his kid version to like slap reset him. him. Yeah, slap, yeah, slap him back into the reality. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Yeah, he was like he was like tripping. He's like, no, there's only one way to do this. And like, and Gwen's like, do you remember? When you were a kid when posi- like things were limitless uh-huh. and she was like trying to remind him of himself as a kid yeah. like to be more optimistic free and yeah. optimistic yeah that was the whole premise of that movie I feel that it was really it was really good I would still watch it I believe it yeah <laughs> so I, I think I I want to say if you go on the Cars Network's website and you sign up for their subscription you can watch all those shows like sub- so subscription subscription based tv shows i think they've always been a thing they just n- nobody ever knew about it because you could go to nickelodeon you can watch all of cora's like show already on the website because they all hosted it yeah right it wasn't just games it was actual like shows but you'd have to sign up for a subscription or something like that and you, then you could watch all the nickelodeon shows and up. everything's on netflix now so i'm not worried about it i just need to finish avatar so i can fucking watch cora Remember, oh my God, Cora was so fucking badass. I remember watching the first episode and like sticking with it, and then I lost it. One episode because I, I canceled it in particular. I knew it was canceled, so I just I forgot about the show. Yeah, I remember uh, one episode in particular where he she was fighting the Bloodbender like towards the end, mm-hmm. like in that fucking mystical yeah. spirit realm area. Remember, Dude, that episode was badass. What is it like three episodes long? The fight was. I, I, or, think, I think it was at least two. I don't know. I remember it was all I know I is that it was minimum of two episodes that that fight went on for. All I know is that she beat her, and then she I think she used bloodbending on the dude. Didn't she use bloodbending? I on have the no guy? idea. I don't. Know. I remember. I I remember. I don't know. I remember Cora using bloodbending on like the bad guy, and I think he exploded. Oh, don't quote me on that. I think he did. <laughs> I like how you whispered it. I think he exploded. Yeah, because I'm not too sure. But I know I, I know Cora learned how to blend, and she also learned how to bend metal because Toph is the chief of police. Oh no no no, that's her daughter. Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, her, her daughter. Her daughter's the chief of police, and she knows how to bend metal. Yeah, I saw that episode too. I just I think that's the episode that I just passed up. Sounds like the first episode because <laughs> I remember that was one of the first episodes where it's she not. gets arrested. Like no, she doesn't. Cora she got kept, arrested by. Ca- by no, I'm not Toph's talking about Cora. I'm talking about Toph. Oh what? I'm talking about Toph learning how to. Uh, oh oh, you're talking about. Oh, you talking I, went, I, transitioned. I know what episode you're on then. I know what you're talking about. Okay. No, I think I'm a little past that though, because I've already they they they're going to the city and they're getting ambushed and Appa's Appa was lost for a long time because he got captured. Yeah. Oh, I know where you're at. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Spoiler alert: They find Appa. <laughs> no, Appa finds them. They get Appa back. And then, yeah, they get Appa because they're under underground and um the fucking city's ran by no Appa fine. The city's ran by the. The city's ran by this underground the Illuminati. Yeah, the Dali and the, the fucking. Did you say the daddy? No, <laughs> I think now now that I'm remembering, I'm on the episode where she's they're learning how to water bend and shit, and the guy's being a dick about it because she won't let the woman teach. She won't let he won't teach. Um, that's the first season. You're talking about third season shit. No, I'm talking about first season. Yeah, I know. You said you're... I forget what season I'm on, okay? They're just learning about waterbending. You said you were in on the part where they're look, where they're trying to find Appa. And then you talk about they're learning the waterbend. That's the, it was the, Appa, then learning how to waterbend. That's the order. It's not learning what? how to waterbend and then losing Appa. Yes, it is. Okay. What are you talking about? Yes, they it is. They lost Appa. They found Appa. Then they go to the water city because they can't... No. Uh, no, because they go to earthbending to get... To, no, to no, 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 no. They learn. They go to the Northern Water Tribe, learn water bending, and then they learn earth bending from Toph. Mm-hmm. Toph. In the middle of all this, they're uh, in the middle of them being in uh, Ba Sing Se. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, they can't. They lose Appa. They don't have Appa, so they're traveling by foot everywhere they go. They don't have Appa because Appa was they got separated in like some fight or some shit. I can't remember exactly, but. 
it they was, don't have it Appa. Was the temple. They, were the they temple. don't lose Appa and then go learn water bending. No, by the time and this the is happening, uh, by the time by the time they lose Appa, Aang is looking for a firebending teacher. I think so. Yeah, because he's at the school and they have a big ass party in the cave. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's where I'm at then. It's got to be where I'm at. <laughs> that makes more sense. Yep. It's coming back to me now. Have you gotten to the eclipse? Uh, no, not yet. Oh. I like. I think I'm like a week away from it, according to the show. It's like a week away, mm. or maybe two or three days. You know, I actually because I know they're, that show they're at the day. fire. They're at the fire nation right now. And he's in school. You know, I actually binge watch that show in a day. Cause you have no fucking life. You have nothing to fucking do. <laughs> no, it was the last time I got laid off from my last job. No, Jesus <laughs> Christ, dude. They couldn't. I got laid off. I had another job lined up anyway. Yeah, so well, like, I, on, while man, I was waiting just, on that shit to happen, I just spent the sat day there in my own grease. Watching Avatar. <laughs> Where'd you get the couch in the middle from? Oh, couch. my friend upstairs. He has like this whole like modular couch that's like three pieces, mm-hmm. and that that is the centerpiece because it's so like. Right, it's like a circle. It's like, like yeah, a more circle. like a V. Oh yeah, it's more oh, like okay. a V. Yeah. Why? Well, he didn't need it or something. He's like oh, so much for the room. Uh, we swapped one couch because uh, he wanted. To, we just we were fucking around and we were like moving couches and shit up mm-hmm. in it. In his room, his girlfriend sent me a Snapchat video of him moving shit around. She's like, he's moving shit again. <laughs> he, he he doesn't leave his house. Like, every time I go over there, couches are in different places. Nice. Yeah. He sounds doesn't, like he doesn't do. do. He doesn't leave his shit alone. So, it sounds like something I would do. <laughs> so, Just really yeah. Like he's, house so, we were like, while. he's like, I'm going to buy a new couch. I was like, yeah, I want to buy new couches too. But when I buy them, I want to set these couches on fire. I want to burn them. I don't want anybody else to ever have my couches. Why? I don't know. It's just a thing. What? It's just a thing material. Just give them away. No. Nobody else has Sell them for like, money. Nobody. Hello? Else. They're not worth it. Somebody yeah. will buy them. Somebody will buy them. Dude, oh, no. stop wasting stuff. This is, these are the things you don't understand. I don't give a fuck. They're mine, okay? Yeah, I get it. But, like, <laughs> dude, that's easy money, dude. That's sell the fucking couches for, like, 30 bucks. And they're coming. There is 60 bucks. Quick. Easy. No. Burn the small one. Don't burn the big one. Uh, get the big one sell the big one you burn the small one so I don't want there. anybody else to have my couches don't, they were mine nobody must have them. they're fucking couches if I can't have them nobody Fuck will <laughs> it's fucking dumb just save them for the well party. maybe you can have put them put them in here I'm, I'm not getting I'm not getting you couches anytime soon I know but I'm just saying like don't fucking burn them put them in here I think only the small one and the love seat would fit in here okay but I'm not sure like where to place them exactly because of like the dimensions of this room and where like the window the doors are at you know i don't want anything like the, well the couch can go in that cor- we can put the couch catty corner to the wall so if there's a little spot right there we put a little lamp in the corner and then put two beanbags or three or four beanbags maybe the love seat, maybe just the love seat over here yeah i don't i don't, I don't think i is large where the small couch would fit in that corner whatever you want are you allowed to repaint are you allowed to put shit on the wall yes we put shit on the wall but like posters and whatnot <clears throat> yeah we'll get a what is it uh the um the signs outside of the shops and shit what is it called the oh when neon, the open the signs neon, the neon lights and just put it on the i want to put an open sign in my window right there <laughs> don't do that it's just uh, you're just asking to get robbed not like anybody's gonna rob this place though because there's so many no, people who not rob there. me i have a gun i will shoot you i will kill you just make sure it's uh in between i think it's dusk and dawn doesn't matter i don't give a fuck <laughs> don't come in my house I will murder you. I will kill you. You will not survive. I will find you. There will only be one sword and attack. I will kill you. That's what I that's what I that that's what they taught me in um criminal justice. They're like, if you're gonna kill somebody or if like you're beating somebody and you let them live, forget about it. You might as well just kill them. And I'm like, okay, got it. <laughs> They're like, if you ever get into a fight, you better fight to kill, not fight to fight to fight. Okay. Like if you're gonna fight, kill them. Because there'll only be one story. They can't rule it as a homicide unless you tell them he attacked me first. And they don't know that because the guy's dead. Unless they know for sure that you're a threat and, you know, people have been saying weird shit about you. They don't, they can't say anything. Cameras. That's what they said. Cameras. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> caveman. <laughs> I'm definitely going to get a shorter table as well. <laughs> Hope. <laughs> hope we have a table but this is actually this table that we have in my room is it's actually perfect. meant for like a kitchen right and it's it's a good table i wish it was this table would be perfect it was if it was bigger oh honestly, that too honestly if it, if it was bigger it'd be great 
um, that's why I'm saying if we get a table, it'll be like a desk table or like a like a dinner table. It's really nice and low. And then we get desk chairs. You know? Oh my goodness, the mic's coming tomorrow. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so like excited about new tech. I'm always I'm always happy to see new tech. I'm always happy to see new tech. It's oh. fucking the great the best. The great the best. The best. The best. The best. Start speaking a Morse code in a minute. Damn, I hope it works. I one zero one one zero zero one zero one one. I hope the two mics work. You might have to download two different versions of Audacity, whatever, and then record it at the same time. Oh God! But that's why I gotta get the new. Two. Actually, I'll show you today after we're done recording. Yay! I'll show you what it did. I gotta go look for it again though. Yay! Cause... Well, no, because you gotta leave. <laughs> why? Where are you going? Work. Oh fuck! How long have I been here? Like an hour? Uh, almost. Uh. We can keep going until like 10 15 or about 10 10. No, I can't be here that long. <laughs> well, it's only like 20 30 minutes away. Uh, 10 10. No, that's fine. We're almost done anyway. You were supposed to be here an hour earlier, though. Yeah, I know. Okay, I didn't wake up and I kind of got in trouble for showing up late at home. What's your zodiac sign? Aries. What's your what's your Chinese zodiac? It's not, I didn't know that there was, was a Chinese. A- April. You're not a dragon. Do that much. Call me a rabbit. Oh, yeah, I'm a rabbit. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, You're talking about my. Fucking spirit animal or some shit. Like no, that. no, there's different. Your spirit animals. Yeah, a, is not, probably I know what you're talking about. But I don't know. I think it's a rabbit. I'm a dragon and a mm-hmm. and a bull Taurus. They're gonna make compilations of us. Uh, fucking sunrise meets out of context, and they're just gonna pull clips from the fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. Like, what the fuck are y'all doing? This is episode 12, 13, 14, 14. This is episode 14! What fucking episode are we on? That's insane! That's crazy! That's crazy. What's your AKA? Because you never said. Oh shit! Hold on. What? Hold on. I'm trying to find out what episode we're on. It should be 14. Next one's 15. Because we'll have nice, good, real mics by then. It'll be very, very Gouda. Like cheese. <laughs> What's Gouda? Nothing much, man. What's good with you? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're on episode 14. Because I remember. I thought I deleted episode 12. Yeah, this this episode is episode 14. Yeah, so when I uploaded episode 13, I thought I lost episode 12 because the name was wrong. And so on the on I I label all the episodes by number. I put P and then a number, P and then a number, P and then. And so I put capital P and then 12 without knowing. And so it went to the straight to the top of the list and I was like I I had just finished uh, editing episode 13. I was like, "Where's episode 12?" So I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm like, where the fuck is it? What did I delete it? I mean, luckily it's uploaded, but I'm like, did I delete it? I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then I go down the list and I notice that it's like, that I was like panicking, real panicking. But I have every podcast ever and it's fucking cool to see like the list grow. Even like this one is going to be episode 14, right? Podcast 14, P14. It's going to be like, dude, we've done this 14 times consistently. That's the thing. We've done it consistently. <laughs> Yo. And it's going to stay consistent. Yes, and we'll just slowly grow until we decide that this gets boring. And it probably won't get boring because... We have so much fun. Yeah, <laughs> with something that we do. Especially something like this. It's really easy to edit. It's really easy to, to do stuff and just, you know, put stuff out there. It's not like YouTube. I don't have to I don't have to have a schedule. Because we already have a schedule. All we have to do is just make time for it. And that's exactly it's what easy. we do. I'm a pretty boy living on the west side. Copyright songs. We're going to get sued. No you could have made it right. There were some other words you could have used to make it rhyme. I'm not a rapper. But I'm not a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> you remember Gabriel? How he looked just like Super Hot Fire? Bevel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he made fun of him. Yeah. I get it. Ooh, he made fun he of fucking, himself. He was awesome. He flies in helicopters now, dude. Yeah. He man. does that shit. He's all... He's a marine. He is. That's insane. He's in a marine. He lives in a box. <laughs> he sleeps in a fucking, fucking loser. concrete box with like two other three other dudes i'm like what the hell they like that's their whole squad it's pretty cool yeah um i remember one time he facetimed drunk as fuck and i was yeah. fucking stoned he still uses <laughs> he still uses my old profile picture that i made for him back in like <laughs> oh yeah and i was like okay dude he posted it too and i'm like all right cool he didn't even tag me in it i don't think that yeah i was like you still use this shit thanks i guess <laughs> all right <laughs> This has been the Sunrise Meets motherfucking podcast. We never even introduced ourselves this I've fucking been your episode. Host, Luis Chavez. I have been your other host. AJ Hernandez. AJ, aka Blunderbuss. Yeah, let's go with that.